Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. I love pharmacology. In this short tutorial session, let us learn about the important pharmacokinetics parameter that you need to remember from cardiac glycosides. As you know that cardiac glycosides are used in the treatment of heart failure. So why they are used in the treatment of heart failure? Because this digoxin which is a cardiac glycoside it increases the cytoplasmic calcium levels how by inhibiting the sodium potassium atipase pump pump on the myocardial cells and thereby it lead to contraction contraction so when it comes to pharmacokinetic parameter, you need to understand these two drugs are available orally as well as through injectable route, injectable route, injectable route. And a very important thing you should remember is it has got the large volume of distribution, large volume of distribution since it has got large volume of distribution it will going to accumulate where it will going to accumulate in the muscles so those drugs which are having larger volume of distribution such kind of drugs requires a loading dose so larger volume of distribution uh, or the drugs which are having a higher volume of distribution requires loading dose loading dose so that is the reason why when this digoxin is used in the treatment of atrial fibrillation so loading dose has to be given loading dose needs to be administered because of the larger volume of distribution and when it comes to off life of the digoxin it is around 30 to 40 hours 30 to 40 hours 30 to 40 hours is the off life of the digoxin and they are mainly eliminated through that is excretion excretion is through kidney and conditions when you treat the patient who are having renal dysfunction especially in case of renal dysfunction what you need to do is you need to reduce the dose of dejection in patients with renal dysfunction so basic thing you should remember from pharmaco Kinetics is you need to remember they are given orally as well as injectable route since it has got larger volume of distribution you need to give it through loading dose it has got t half of 30 to 40 hours and since it is excreted through kidney in patients with renal dysfunctions you need to reduce the dose of the digoxin so this is very very important even if you don't remember the pharmacokinetic parameters with respect to other drugs, please remember the pharmacokinetic parameters of the digoxin. This is very important. This can come as your MCQs as well. MCQs as well. The reason is you need to remember it has to be given through loading dose because of their larger volume of distribution. Larger volume of distribution. So if you find this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel, I Love Pharmacology. And do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology. Thank you.